A great drag queen once said, when you become the image of your own imagination, it's the most powerful thing you can do. Today, I am here to inform you about the oppression of expression for the LGBTQ community and what that could mean for the future of human rights. The government has no right to ban people's freedom from expressing themselves and their identity. As a member of the LGBTQ community and a regular viewer of drag shows, I feel very confident in my ability to speak on the subject. I have many friends who participate in drag competitions, whether they be kings or queens. One of my dear friends was just nominated to compete in a national competition called Miss Nationwide before she was of the age of 18. The problem is that the LGBTQ community is experiencing hate crimes that are going unnoticed and the United States government is introducing and passing laws that are both anti-drag and anti-trans. The cause of this is homophobia, transphobia, and misinformed people in politics passing laws on things that they do not understand, nor do they care for the people whose law, who they are passing the laws for. The solution to this is difficult, but first and foremost, we must do what we can to band together to protect our fellow human beings and to educate ourselves about other people and their rights. If you are unaware of the injustice that is happening to the LGBTQ community, I implore you to listen. Please do not let this get swept under the rug. Hate crimes against the LGBTQ community are increasing and people are afraid that their cries for help will not be heard. The violence against trans people is so prevalent that we actually have a holiday for it. It's called the, tra uh, the Trans Day of Remembrance. This observation is to observe the lives lost to transphobia and homophobia. On Saturday, November 19th in 2022, 25 people were injured and five were killed in a Colorado gay bar called Club Q. Colorado's representative, Brianna Titone, Colorado's first openly trans legislator tweeted, quote, when politicians and pundits perpetrating insults and misinformation about trans and LGBTQ community, this is a result. Club Q was hosting a drag event that evening and had planned to hold a memorial event that next day, which would have been the Trans Day of Remembrance. According to Jay Brown, Senior Vice President of Programs, Research, and Training for the Human Rights Campaign says, quote, the level of fear that the community is feeling is real, and many of our elected leaders actually bear some responsibility for creating the level of discourse that feeds that fear, end quote. State legislation has been passing laws and introducing bills that not only ban drag shows, but have the potential to ban all transgender people from performing at all. And these bills also have the potential to ban transition health care into young adulthood. Newly introduced House Bill 1116 in South Dakota has specifically been written to ban shows where, quote, where a performer exhibits a gender identity that is different from the performer's biological sex, end quote. Legislation in Oklahoma and South Carolina would have the potential to make it a felony to provide hormonal or surgical treatment to anyone who is under the age of 26 years old. A bill in West Virginia defines, quote, any transvestite or transgender performance or display as obscene. This has the potential to outlaw transgender people's presence around children and prevents people from expressing their identities and who they really are. Catherine Oakley, the state legislative director for the, and senior counsel at the Human Rights Campaign says, quote, the bills disproved the notion that the, the protecting children had ever been the motivation. It's not because they don't think folks can give adequate consent. They don't want people to get this care because they don't think that being trans is real, end quote. These are just a few examples of the bills and laws that are being introduced all across the U.S. Now we will get to the cause of the fear and what may be leaning to the banning of drag. Politicians are making rules for people without considering the consequences it may have on their physical and emotional health. They're incredibly misinformed about what drag is and about the trans experience, that they are using homophobia and transphobia to endanger the lives of people for things that they do not understand themselves. One bit of legislation that was proposed by a Republican senator in a public center in Arizona would make it a misdemeanor to put on a drag show in a public space where children might be present. This change would also classify drag as a adult cabaret performance. 
A joint statement from Arizona Republicans says, quote, this ignorance and by the public and private sectors promoting this behavior sends a message of complete and utter perversion that can have a detrimental impact on the social and emotional development of our children. Another Republican stated, quote, we will be damned if we won't fight like hell to protect the most innocent from these horrifying and disturbing trends that are spreading across the nation now that extremist Democrats are currently in control of our federal government, end quote. These lawmakers need to know that they cannot hurt our fellow human beings. We can stand up to them and show them that we will not sit by and let them take away culture and endanger people's lives for just living them. The solution to this is that we do what we can for the people that we love the most and for just our neighbors around us. We can sign petitions, donate our time or money to local outreach groups and programs. Keeping yourself informed is one of the most powerful things you can do so that you are aware of what's happening in the world around you and that you are aware of other people's rights. A wonderful way you can show your support today is by donating your time or money to your local LGBTQ support center. We have one in Champaign called the Uniting Pride of Champaign County. You might be familiar with them if you've ever experienced our uh, Pride event every year in September. Um, they also, um, their main priority is to promote cultural competency for schools, businesses, healthcare organizations, and nonprofits. They provide gender affirming care for people in need who cannot afford it, as well as items like binders and things. They also have a food pantry for anyone in the community. You don't have to be a member of the LGBTQ community to utilize their resources. This is a great way to make real change in your community and reach people on a very personal level. This shows other people that you care about them and you care about their rights. Please join me in supporting our community and speaking out against this injustice. The rise of hate crimes against the LGBTQ community is unacceptable. People should not have to live in fear and should be free to express themselves in any way that they see fit. The U.S. is passing laws that have the potential to ban drag shows from existing and put trans people at risk. The cause of this is misinformed lawmakers that aren't aware of what they are doing and how that could affect people and the lives of trans youth. We can show our support to the LGBTQ community by signing petitions and donating our time or money to organization organizations like the UP Center that make real change. I implore you to take a stand for human rights in this very difficult and frightening time, as it could really turn into a matter of life or death. Thank you.